Hello. Um, <clears throat> it was all a big mistake. No, uh, Tony and, um, Adam and Bruce were making horrible noises in a cafe once in, 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 in Melbourne and, um, invited me down if I was game to, mm -hmm. to have a bit of a sing with them. And, uh, so I did. And it, um, it seemed to work pretty well. And, uh, <clears throat> so we started playing around from there on, basically, and expanding from there. Why did you call yourselves Cattle Track? Your one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. Um, it was basically uh, just a line in a set of lyrics that I'd written, and um, a, fr a friend of mine was reading through them one day, and the original line was caught in a cattle truck. Right. And he said, that's a great name for a band, so uh, we decided to use it. And uh, uh, the problem was caught in a cattle truck was much too long for posters and stuff, mm -hmm. so it was just pared down. It's to Tony come. and Bruce have all dropped by. Hi there. Hi there. Hi. Say hello to all the viewers. Hi, viewers. Hi. That's it. Well done. Um, <laughs> Very good. Uh, what's, uh, what are you up to at the moment? Uh, we're on tour at the moment through mm -hmm. Sydney and about to go up to Queensland and then uh, back down the coast again. And uh, when we get back to Melbourne, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we'll be doing some demoing of some new songs. Right. Got lots of new songs in the back? Uh, yeah, when we get an opportunity to rehearse, we, uh, you know, we tend to be able to bash them out pretty quickly at the mm -hmm. moment. What sort of things are you writing about at the moment, Paul? Ooh, ooh. <coughs> We're um, covering some some pretty delicate uh, <coughs> delicate areas. Yeah. Um, we've been touching on the environment um, and the state of world politics, and I've also been lamenting um, the disappearance of many live music venues in Melbourne. In one particular song, right. and the other one's about possession. Oh. This, this is a sort of a handful at the moment, so there's some sort of strange themes there. I haven't been writing enough love songs though, you know. And I haven't been writing enough. Uh, I love you, you love me right. kind of stuff. I Why do you want to write more of that? Well, people keep saying that uh, no one wants to hear negative songs. I don't think you know, those songs are necessarily negative. But everyone seems to really like uh, you know, love songs yeah. and stuff. And Rain's not really a negative song, is it? I don't think it is, no. It's oh, just more good. of a reflective tune. That's our new single, actually, Rain. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> you might have heard it on the radio. Yes, which it's in the record stores at the moment. It is in the record stores <laughs> right now. It's got a red cover, too. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be doing that a little bit later yep. for you. After the goodies? On the an acoustic version, which is kind of the same way that it was written. Yeah. When you said you're lamenting the lack of live venues, do you find it hard to find somewhere to play now? Well, a lot of them have been closing down because uh, there's more people seem to be interested in discos. And so you walk down the street and what you could have sworn was a, a live... Uh, a live venue the day before, the next uh, a day later, all of a sudden, there's the big glitzo yeah, disco. Yeah. You know? How does that affect the band? With, you know, does it, does it make well, it hard for the band to develop not having somewhere to play? Well, it does. I mean, we still have plenty of places to play. It's just that it's uh, slowly sort of getting smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. and, and as a matter of fact, when we started out, and, and possibly when you did as a as a musician, um, you needed little small places to play. Yeah, and and, yeah. and it seems that no more in Melbourne. There's yeah. no more of those. You might left. have to end up going back to busking. Well, Just the rain. 